Hello everyone, it's XO Man. I, um, I just got home from running errands and I got my hair cleaned up. Uh, I don't say cut because I got it cleaned up, basically. My wife said, I told her I was going to go get my hair cut. And she said, yeah, it looks fine. I like it that length. So get it, get it cleaned up. So that's what I did. And while I was there, let me sidetrack and tell you something else. We are going to travel to Los Angeles, which is uh, where we lived for many years. We raised our kids there. Part of their childhood was spent there. Uh, but I have, we haven't been back there in 15 years, and so we are going to visit some friends and, and run around and, uh, and uh, work out there. But I am so tired of the airlines taking things from me. I don't like that. They, if you have anything that's over three ounces in liquid, they take it from you. So I think, doggone it, I don't want to check a bag, because you can always put that stuff that's over three ounces in your, in your check bag. I don't want to do that because it's expensive and I like to travel light anyway. So the lady's cleaning up my hair. She's just buzzing me around the sides. And I said, boy, I sure wish I had a small uh, thing of hair gel. And she produced this. A couple of bucks. And it's one and a half ounces. So it's perfect. It's air, airplane friendly. So I wanted to tell you that. So check that out if you're ever at your stylist you might want to pick up one of those because then it saves you from having to buy a container and what i used to do is put my gel pour some in a little travel container well this is just about perfect so anyway what i want to show you today in case you don't know how to do this i want to show you a quick repair in case you have a leaky faucet on a modern faucet uh, as i've said before i used to do this kind of work all the time repairing toilets and faucets, sinks, fixtures, whatever, in a hotel. And I've always done my own work at home. So let's go in the bathroom and I'll show you really quickly and easily. This is just for those of you who don't know this already. How to replace a modern sink washer. Let's take a look. There we are. The leaky faucet. Well, let me show you the leak. All right. Now, here is what you need for this job. All, I, all I'm going to use is a uh, Phillips screwdriver, a rusty open-end wrench, and a razor to lift the cap. I'll show you. This just lifts this little... Oh, better plug this first. Don't want to drop this down the sink, do we? Where are you going to find that, right? Okay, so pull your little cap off. This is how you remove your... Let's put this up here, out of the way. This is how you remove your handle. You see the Phillips in there? Okay. You know I'm always the one-handed plumber. Okay, there we go. There's our handle with the screw still in it. Let's pop this off here. <laughs> don't, I don't even know the names. Let's, let's just call this the collar nut. Let's make that up. The, the collar nut. Okay, take this off. And then this here is your valve. Now these, the, these things are sometimes very hard to get out because they're kind of calcified, but this should just pull right up. If not, you can put a rag over it and then maybe take pliers and gently lift it up. But but you know, use a rag so you don't mar it. But I think I'm going to be able to get this out of here. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> okay, and that's where it seals. And then down in here, you can see I have a replacement for it right here. That's what else you're going to need. And I just paid, I think, a few dollars at the at the hardware store for this. So you get a spring and a seat. I think that yeah, they call them seats. We, I called it a washer earlier when I when I was a young guy. We used we use sink washers, and they don't use modern fixtures. Move use this kind of stuff now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the culprit out of here. Just I'm gonna stick this down through it. And then kind of 
lift it out. Oh, there we go. Got it all out in one piece. I'm going to set this aside. And then I'm going to grab this new one here and put it in there. Kind of do the same thing in reverse. And let that just kind of drop down and find its location. You're going to have to convince this seat to go down in there. Just kind of feel your, feel it and push it in and you'll get it in there. All right, there, I think that's seated properly. Oops. Now this flat edge I know goes over here. Watch that, watch which side your flat edge is on and, re and redo it the same way. And of course you have a little, a little notch here that, that that piece goes in. It just matches up. Okay, now. While you're at this, I put that back on. Do both sides, okay? Because they're the same age, right? You don't want to have to worry about this one down the road when it starts to leak. Just buy enough. In fact, I have two sinks in here, so I'm going to do four of these. Might as well. It's not uh, that expensive, not that time consuming. I'm going to torque this down just a little bit. You don't need to get carried away, and, and you don't need to do it too tight. Just a little bit of uh, torque, that's good. And then let's not forget anything. Put that on, put our screw back in there. Tighten that up, test it. You can test it before you do this, but I'm confident this is gonna work, so. All right. Give it a nice little push down in there. Replace my little cap. Now I'm gonna, whoops. Why won't you go in there? There we go. Now I'm gonna go reach under here and turn this back on. All right. And no more drips. Okay, now call a plumber if you have the money because we all need work, right? We all need to make a living. And plumbers are going to be very thorough if you get a good plumber. And they're going to find other issues that may arise. And they may save you a hell of a lot of trouble. And just check things over for you. But yeah, if you're a do-it-yourselfer guy, you got to save money. Very, very easy fix. And um, But otherwise, hire professional folks. Okay. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching, everyone.